amazing. I am so happy we finally figured out where the hyenas have been staying because now we're going to be able to keep up with them again. Now we've got a beautiful stallion right next to us and he hasn't really moved and he I think he might be either falling asleep or checking us out but it gives us an opportunity to just look at those beautiful stripes. Did I jinx you now? I think I might have. Oh no. Some beautiful close up of the stripes and we could see the eye and he was pretty much standing still all the way here but I think now that the other male has moved off maybe this one's decided that it didn't want to be all by itself and then has carried on moving. You could have posed so beautifully for us. Very beautiful creature, are you not? I was just saying, I find zebras such pleasant creatures to look at. The, the dazzle and their stripes and the combination when they're all, all together. I think it's always... I don't know if it's almost like a kaleidoscope that every time there will be new shapes forming up and down. I just find it incredibly fascinating. I mean, just look at all the games that Seb is doing. He's getting very artsy looking at all those stripes. Just pretty much imagine all the photos we could be taking of all of them. It's wonderful. Now, it seems like we've had a bit of a return of zebra and lots of wildebeest around as well. So, I'm wondering if the lions perhaps are going to make a return because yesterday they avoided pretty much all of quarantine where all of the zebras must have been sleeping and they went onto Arethusa and they left us behind. So I wonder if maybe now that the zebras are here and there are more spray species around, if they'll be able to pick it up and maybe come back to us later on. We've got more. Joshua, you're wondering if this one looks pregnant. Well, this one is a male, so it's definitely not pregnant but you see the problem with uh, zebras is that because of their digestive processes they go through they have to ferment their food within their stomachs which causes a lot of gas to be able to break down the food that they're eating and then absorb the nutrients from it so it seems it always seems like they're fat but sometimes they're not just really fat they're just bloated it seems like our zebras are migrating all the way back to quarantine. Maybe they have heard that the zebras in the Mara and the wildebeest have started moving and they want to do it too. So I'm going to try and move a little bit around. Hopefully the brakes won't give in <laughs> and we'll be able to see a little bit more of them. I think they are all slowly but surely moving back into the open area, which is wonderful. So I really want to see as many of them as possible today. There's a nice jump there. Stay guys, don't go. We are almost there, just around the corner of this termite mound. It's funny, now I close my eyes and I see shadow on top of every single termite mound. <laughs> All right, there we've got the clouds that are probably being brought by all this wind that we've had. Now apparently there's a bit of rain predicted for tomorrow. I really, really do hope that this is one of those occasions where the weather channel gets it completely wrong because being very cold and wet is not ideal. I do know though that that is how most people live winter and that we are very spoiled here to have this precious sunshine during a winter afternoon.